Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria and this is Core in 15. Today's yoga practice is a 15 minute core targeted workout that is fiery, efficient, and just to the point. These are great to stack also, so you can add this on to the beginning or the end of another workout or another yoga practice that you're doing. If you missed the first two videos, Core in 5 and Core in 10, we've also done those so you can check those out. But all you'll need today is yourself, somewhere to move, and when you're ready, let's get into it. We'll begin today lying down flat on our backs. So face the top of your mat, plant your feet down, and then roll slowly all the way down, one vertebra at a time to lie on your back. And then bring your feet away from the mat so that your knees are stacked right above your hips and then the feet come out, creating 90 degree angles with both of your legs. And from here, eliminate that curve in your low back by pressing your belly button toward your spine so you can really flatten your low back to the mat and notice that even just that action engages your core. So stay with that, low back is pressing into the earth, belly button to spine, and then bring your hands to your knees or to your, the, to the fronts of your thighs. And then press your hands into your legs and press your legs back into your hands as much as possible. And you might already begin to feel a shaking, lots of engagement in the abs. And press a little bit harder, more firmly, more intensity between hands and legs and then legs back into hands so the energy moves, travels in both directions. Keep the low back pressing down Good, from here you can let go of that, that tension from the hands and the legs and then just reach your fingertips up toward the sky so your wrists are stacked over your shoulders. Lift your shoulder blades away from the earth and we'll move into dead bugs. As you inhale, reach your right fingertips and your left toes away from each other, extending them out straight. Keep your low back pressing down, keep your left hand and your right knee exactly as they are and then as you exhale, return to center. Inhale to reach left fingertips and right toes away from each other. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, come back. Inhale, left fingertips, right toes. Exhale, return to center. Inhale. Exhale. And try to deepen your breath so that you are moving with the breath and let it work for you, let it help you. And really stay conscious as you extend your limbs out from the midline that whichever limbs are staying in the center, stay exactly where they are. Eliminate any movement. One more each side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come back. Last time. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, back. Or drop your head, your shoulders down to the mat. You can root your feet and just take some windshield wipers side to side of your knees. Little tiny break before we move on. Remember, if you're already feeling it, me too. And this is a quick practice. So try to stay with it even if it feels intense. Okay. We'll go into some eagle crunches now. So keep the left sole of your foot down to the mat, cross your right leg up and over, thread it around. You can stay right here just with the right leg on top of the left, or if you like, you can hook your right toes around the back of your left calf. That part's totally optional, so up to you. And then eagleize your arms as well. So right elbow swings under the left, and maybe the palms can meet in front of your face. Then pick up your toes away from the mat, pick up your head and your shoulder blades. As you inhale, reach your elbows and your knees away from each other, keeping your low back flat to the mat. And then as you exhale, squeeze your knees and elbows toward each other, maybe bringing them all the way up to touch. Inhale, reach away, grow longer through all the lines. Exhale, hug the midline. Inhale to reach, extend from toes to fingertips. Exhale, knees and elbows squeeze together. Inhale, exhale, lift your shoulder blades up a little more than you want to, belly button pulls towards spine. Inhale, exhale, good, we have five more. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze. Let the intensity of your breath match the intensity of what you're feeling. Three more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach, 
Exhale, squeeze. Last time you can do it. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, squeeze and hold the squeeze. Elbows, knees, squeeze together for three, for two, squeeze even more, for one. <sighs> Good, untangle everything. Again, you can just drop down for a couple of breaths. Take a sigh and open mouth, exhale, whatever you need. And then we'll go to the other side. So the right leg becomes the base, left leg threads up and over the top. Optionally, hook your left toes behind your right calf. And then this time the left arm will swing under the right. And maybe the hands can meet overhead. If this is a lot, you can also just grab for opposite shoulders like a bear hug. Okay. Inhale, press your low back into the mat. Hover your toes, hover your shoulder blades. Reach elbows and knees away from each other. Exhale, hug the midline, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it together. Inhale, reach farther forward through your toes, further back through your fingers than you want to. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, really squeeze your inner thighs and your elbows together. And then exhale, knees and elbows together. Five more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You got it. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, squeeze, check in with the low back. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, reach long, long, long. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Imagine that there's a piece of fruit, like a citrus fruit between your elbows and your knees, and you're trying to squeeze all the juice out of it for three, for two, squeeze harder, for one, and release all the way down. Take one breath here, big full inhalation. Open mouth, exhale, sigh. Good. Now bring your hands behind your hamstrings, pick up your legs and begin to rock and roll the length of your spine all the way up and then roll back down. And you can take a few rock and rolls. And then finally, we'll meet up, sitting up tall at the top of your mat. Roll so that you're sitting right on your sitting bones. Keep your hands behind your hamstrings and then begin to lean back. Keep your collarbones reaching away from each other. Lean back until you feel some engagement in your abs and float your toes away from the mat. And you can stay here. This is option one. Option two is you can extend your legs up a little higher, so creating more of a 90 degree angle. Maybe release your arms from the backs of your legs. Last option, reach up with your toes reach up with your fingertips. So any of these places where you'd like to stay and hang out is good and then breathe. Find a steady spot for your gaze. Inhale to lengthen through all the lines of your body. Keep the spine long. And then exhale, super slowly we glide into low boat. So if the legs are straight, just reach forward with your toes, reach forward with your fingertips. If they're bent, same thing. And so stay with your version wherever you are. Inhale, rise back up to high boat for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower five, four, three, two, one. Good, inhale, lift one, two, three. Press your big toe mounds together for five inner ankles. Hug the midline, exhale, five, four, three. You got it, we're almost there, two. One more time, inhale, lift. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and roll back up, cross at your ankles. This is a little fun challenge, so play if you want. Otherwise, take a quick breather, just sit down and breathe. Place your hands down next to your hips. Shift your weight into your palms. See if you can pick up and then lower back down. So trying to pick up your sitting bones away from the mat. If you've got yoga blocks, you can always take them under your hands for a little bit more of a lift. Let's cross the ankles the other way. We'll try that just one more time and then we'll move on. So root your palms, really hollow out your core, press into the earth. You can keep the, the legs bent into your chest or extend them straight. 
and release. Slower all the way back down. Good, cross your ankles and we'll make our way up to a tabletop position where we'll set up for a dolphin plank. So from your knees, release your elbows down to the mat and then with your hands, grab for opposite elbows to help you measure the distance. This is about where your elbows ideally will be. Root your palms down and then step your toes all the way back behind you for dolphin plank. And stay and breathe here. Press into your finger pads, press into your elbows. Hug your elbows toward the midline. Dome your shoulders. And begin to slowly walk your toes in toward your elbows, coming up to dolphin pose as you inhale. As you exhale, walk your toes all the way long and back behind you. And keep your belly engaged as you do this. Inhale to rise. Exhale, glide it back. Toes step one at a time. And you can play with the speed, the number of steps you take. Maybe you'd like to go a little quicker, a little more energetically, or maybe you'd like to stay slow and steady, but feel your core connected all the time. Keep pressing into your hands and your elbows. One more time as you inhale, lift your hips, dolphin. As you exhale, toes step back to dolphin plank from here. Stay in your plank, draw your right knee to your right tricep, step it back. Left knee, left tricep, step it back. Right knee to the right tricep, squeeze them together. Step back, dolphin plank, left knee, left tricep. And this is the final push, so stay with it. We have five more on each side. Four, right knee, right tricep, left knee, left tricep. Three more, you've got it. And stay with your breath. Last one, squeeze and squeeze, good. Go ahead and drop your knees. Sink your hips back to sit on your heels. Bring your palms to face up on your thighs. Relax your arms if you'd like to take a little shake before you rest, that's totally fine. Just close your eyes. Big full inhalation. Sigh, exhale, release. Shoulder blades fall away from your ears. Again, inhale to fill all the way up. Audible sigh, open mouth, exhale. And just notice the sensations you're feeling in your body, any of the after effects of this movement, maybe places where you feel heat, engagement, shaking, exhaustion, or maybe also some new openings, some expansion. And you're welcome to stay and just breathe as long as you like. You can always, always, always take Shavasana if you've got time for it today. But that is the end of our 15 minute core practice for the day. I hope you're feeling good and fired up. <laughs> if you're not already, make sure to go down below and subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday and every Friday. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.